I'm out here with the Craft Laser and I've got the air assist all set up, got the air purification thing set up, and I've got their software open. Um, sorry, my nose itches. And we're going to go ahead and do a test on the basswood. I'm going to do a 20 by 20 column test um, just using their software. I'll show you that. So, rookie mistake. I forgot to focus <laughs> before I started that and I remembered it like after I'd already done 13 lines. So we're gonna do it again at 10 by 10 and now I've hit the autofocus button and let it focus. So yeah, that's why you're gonna see 10 by 10 and like 13 by something. So we just finished. It's took about 36 minutes to go ahead and do this test grid. Um, as you can see, I got a good idea where to start now with the film three millimeter basswood in this. So yeah, we'll just probably go with something around in here maybe up in here for some things, and then I can figure out exactly, you know, what's good for cutting. Got our power index and then our speed index. So yeah, um, I'm gonna pause for some lunch and then we'll come back and we'll cut some stuff out of basswood. Well, unfortunately, I only have clear acrylic. I had some black, I, I don't know what I did with it. So we won't be doing that, but we can start cutting some stuff out of basswood, maybe doing a little engraving. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fire that up and we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So just using their default settings in their application, I mean, it cut this heart out perfect. Um, I'm very happy with that. Now, I prefer to use Lightburn, but their software has a lot of features and clearly their settings, at least for three millimeter basswood, are freaking amazing. Um, that was the first try, just using the default setting. I could have avoided all of this and all that. So yeah, I'm gonna cut some stuff out and maybe engrave some stuff in a section of this and uh, come back. So that came out perfect. Um, well, it cut perfect. I, I would like the text to just be a hair darker. Um, that's easy to fix. I just change the settings a little and it'll come out perfect. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. Um, I really wish I had some black acrylic. I'll, I'll do that in a future video, so stay tuned for that. I know I have some around here somewhere. I'm just not sure where it's at. Um, but yeah, you can do some fun stuff. I'm going to try to do an image now on a wood coaster. I should have some of those and we'll get those out and we'll go ahead and give that a go. I didn't even try to line this up just because I'm going to throw the coaster away, but you get the idea. Get you a little bit better lighting there. Like, you did a really good job. Um, the texture is just from the grain, wood grain. You can see that. These coasters aren't the greatest thing in the world, but I had a bunch of them, so I thought I'd go ahead and practice on that. Um, that didn't take long at all, and this is, again, just using the default settings in their software, so pretty happy, you know? This thing, I like this thing. What I really like about it is what you've probably seen in another video I did on the channel. Um, this does have both a blue and infrared laser. This is a little button that shows you that and everything. So you can do the blue on its own. You can do the infrared on its own. Infrared will let you, like, mark metal and stuff. If you do the blue with the red, you start to like really get in there. Let me grab my test piece here. So here's what I tested in the other video. You can see where I did like the blue or the infrared, where I did both and kind of messed around. And can you hear that? You get a nice little texture there. That's only on that. And I just kind of experimented with that. Like it's a great little laser. Well, it's not even little. I mean, you've got a decent sized work area here. Um, this is the biggest area diode laser I've had, especially with an infrared diode. And it's, I mean, it's just great. It's well made. It comes with a really good honeycomb. Uh, you get the air assist and you get the camera and you know, um, the air assist has like a fire suppression feature, which has a water reservoir. So if it does detect fire, you can have that option to have it spray. Um, water, presumably, <laughs> onto the uh, flaming piece. You don't know, burn your place down. I mean, obviously, you want to be watching so you could, like, emergency stop. And on this model, I haven't covered it in this video, but there's just a power switch here on the side. You just flick that power switch in the event of that. There is no stop button, like, on some lasers, which I'm actually happy about because I always bump into that stupid thing. So having it just be the power switch, and it's right there in the front right corner. Well, it's on the side, but it, it's toward the front. It's easy. You just reach right down and bam, you know, power's off. Laser is stopped in the event of emergency. But if you are into the fire suppression thing, pretty cool. Um, when I'm using a laser, I'm usually sitting right there. Even if it takes like a couple hours, I'll just read a book or I'll, you know, watch YouTube or listen to a podcast or something. But if you did step away for a minute to go to the bathroom or something and there was a fire, 
that fire suppression system if you have it turned on and water in there we'll go ahead and hopefully take care of that for you pretty cool um i will say I, i've had no complaints with this thing um when i did set it up you know it, it was one of the easier ones i've ever done um i was really surprised the, the only thing and i covered this in the other video let me show you so the lid here once you get those hinges to right there, like it wants to rip out of your hand. And I've slammed that thing so many times because I'll just be like, and it kind of takes off. They're really good quality hinges. As long as you're like in here, um, you're okay. But yeah, once once you get down there, just make sure you got a good hold on it because it's going to go. But yeah, like I really, really like this thing. It's, it's just great. All you have over here is your power switch. And then over here are all your ports. And everything you've got an external display presumably for the camera if you want you get your computer which is USB-C you know the Wi-Fi um, power in and then the two cables that go to uh, the air assist thing here and yeah that's pretty much it um, this thing's great there will be a link to it in the description in the sticky comment for a diode laser I think this is the now the one that I just keep and always have like, it's really nice. There's plenty of room to like operate inside here. And yeah, I, I'm i just thoroughly satisfied with it. Um, I've had some, some blue diodes before that were all right, but they all had their issues and they were always like 11 by 11 or whatever. You know, this is a little bit bigger, uh, especially in the one dimension, it's much wider. And you can kind of fit some bigger stuff in there. And I just, I like that. And the autofocus, the autofocus just works. You just put the piece in, make sure the laser's in the area of the piece, press the autofocus button, and it takes like five or 10 seconds. Um, like, I just love that, because then you don't have to like, you know, have the little flip down thing or the push down thing or get a ruler out. You just get it over your work area, press uh, autofocus right on the front, or you can do it in the software too. Um, and yeah, you're good to go. It's got good lighting on the sides, you know, it's got the nice, uh, orange lid which helps block and protect your eyes so you're not wearing some clunky glasses and stuff um it's got the switches so that if the lid's lifted it immediately stops just to keep you safe and it won't start with the lid up i just i love it and even like your air vents like nice goes right on and then you have the optional um air filtration here which i really really like um like this thing's great i probably wouldn't use it a lot for wood for wood i would just you know, plumb the stuff out, maybe get an inline fan. Um, I actually have one right there that I usually use for that. But if you're doing like, you know, the aluminum business cards or acrylic or something, I'd probably go ahead and use that. Uh, the wood's probably gonna, you know, clog the filter faster because releasing a whole lot more stuff. But that's up to you. Um, maybe that's, that's what you wanna do and that's in your budget and cool. But I really like that unit. It is very, very nice. I have two similar units from other companies and um, the, I don't like the way they attach the top to get to the filter. This has these really nice latches and it really gets it down. Nothing's like leaking out of there or anything. It's just going in and coming out through an exhaust on the back, a small little exhaust. Perfect. I love it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I look forward to using this thing more in the future. Out of, out of all of these I've had, I think I've had about 15 lasers in the past year, 13 months, whatever. And all but four of those have been diode. And then one of them was fiber. Um, of those, this is hands down my favorite of the diode. Um, it's just, it works. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for coming by.